Before I get into this video, I want to remind you we're giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED edition. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's edition and a pin from PAX East. To enter, all you have to do is go to the pinned comment or the description, click the link. Winners will be chosen on May 12th. And you know what? I wish all of you guys luck. We're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers. So I would appreciate if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button and maybe the bell icon to be notified of all videos. All right, guys, we have a really exciting update for you today about Tears of the Kingdom. There's actually some other news floating out there. We're going to probably tackle that a bit later today. I'm, I'm going to kind of let things simmer and get more information. But we actually do have information on this. And that is because, look, the game leaked, right? We're not talking about the leaks themselves. But one thing that has come out of the leaks when people play this on their Switch is that there is some performance issues, right? And when there's performance issues that are also backed up by the actual gameplay demo that the media played a couple weeks ago, it makes you wonder, is this something that's going to potentially bog the game down, potentially be a problem? And is it something that would be addressed before the game comes out? And it turns out that Nintendo has been paying attention. The Zelda team already knew. And yes, indeed, they have provided a day one patch. Now, this day one patch is quite interesting for a number of reasons. And the one of them being that, one, if you have the digital version, it's already included. You already have it. Two, well, the physical copies don't come with the day one patch, which is about 300 megabytes. And you might go, what the heck is in that 300 megabytes? Well, it turns out a feature that improves performance and visuals is there. What are we talking about? Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Yes, folks, that technology Nintendo has already used in other games, such as Nintendo Switch Sports, is added with this patch. And my lord, apparently it makes a big difference. Why? Because people were able to extract that update from the digital version via a data mine and apply it to the physical. And it turns out, yup, makes a world of difference. No surprise, because it does make a difference in other uh, cases as well. Now, the big thing about this version of Fidelity FX Super Resolution is it does appear through the data mine to just be the 1.0 version, which is technically like the worst version of FSR besides back when it used to be in the demo stages, but also happens to be like the only version of FSR supported on Switch. It's the same version they used in other games that actually ended up making a difference. The big key thing here that we want to get out of Fidelity FX Super Resolution is better frame rate stability. That's the big thing we want, and we can get this here. So just a reminder on what Fidelity FX Super Resolution really does, it may, lets you run a game at a lower resolution, but then be able to upscale it. And what happens here when you run at a lower resolution is you're able to gain performance. So you can get better at frame rates while maybe not suffering a lot of loss in the image department. So that's really what Fidelity FX Super Resolution does. And while 1.0, again, isn't like the greatest you know, fix ever, it is better than nothing. And early reports are, including from some people with review copies, that it has made a difference because now the review copies are getting that update because they didn't have that update originally a couple weeks ago, and now it's been released to them too. So the bottom line is this is a massive deal and should fix a lot of the performance complaints that people had about this game before launch. And this is another reason that those of us waiting for launch may in fact have gotten a better experience than those that have been emulating or pirating the game over the last week or so because, again, you're not potentially using the final version of what the launch is going to be. You're using whatever version was available at the time they started printing cartridges. So I'm just going to sit here and wonder what else is Nintendo going to do because while this is the update at the moment, who says they're not all the way up to version 1.2.0? by the time the game comes out, because maybe they have an additional update they're going to be doing. And guys, if you didn't think they were going to continue to update this game to make it run better, make it look prettier, you clearly weren't paying attention. Nintendo did this back in the day with Breath of the Wild. We had numerous updates to help with performance. And look, this one update seems to already fix the 30 FPS drop into 20 FPS problem. So I'm already pretty stoked about what this means. This is not a technology they ever applied to Breath of the Wild. So if you want to be like, oh, well, Breath of the Wild, they didn't use this in Breath of the Wild. 
Literally, this is something they've only been using the last couple of years, and it's really exciting to see them continue to use it. Obviously, this is a technology, if not this one, maybe NVIDIA DLSS or some sort of internal technology will likely be used on their next system as well. So Nintendo is paying attention to these technologies, and that alone is exciting because Nintendo doesn't always stay on top of what the latest and greatest tech is in the industry, and this is just one of those. So thank you, Nintendo, for dropping this update. Obviously, for those of us that were going to play day one, especially digitally, we already were going to have this update, so it already was going to be a bit better. And those that bought it physically day one, hey, the patch is available to download day one. You'll be able to update your game, and you'll be able to enjoy it as well. So I'm just really excited about this. That seems to be the brux, by the way, of what's in update 1.1. That's uh, a 300 megabyte update to include uh, Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Uh, it's a, I mean, again, it's a pretty decent chunk size for just one feature, but it's an important feature and one that I'm really glad Nintendo's working on. Now, I don't know what they're going to include in other future updates, uh, you know, besides obviously some tweaks here and there, maybe some bug fixes, because, you know, th there are some bugs I have heard about from the leaked copy. Although the problem is that these bugs are not running like the way the game normally would. Like one bug I heard about apparently specifically only happens in emulation. And it's like, well, then we don't really care about the bugs in emulation because that ain't Nintendo's problem, right? We care about what it's like running on Switch. And from there, I haven't heard a whole lot. Uh, I've talked to a few people that have verified review copies. And just on the surface, it does appear that this game is relatively bug free. And. That shouldn't be a surprise, but, I mean, we've had glitches and bugs in prior Zelda games. There was the cannon room in Twilight Princess, right? Uh, we've had falling through the world glitches before, uh, and, and just various other things. And I'm sure there will be some form of glitches. We had glitches in, uh, in Breath of the Wild. I mean, remember whistle sprinting? That was the thing a lot of people like to do, whistle sprinting in, in Breath of the Wild. Well, that's not in this game. So, so a lot of the Breath of the Wild stuff was probably patched out. But who knows what new uh, glitches and stuff they introduced. I'm not someone who cares about glitches, but, you know, there's a lot of speedrunners in particular, any percent speedrunners uh, that love love those glitches. So, guys, I'm really excited for this game. I think you are too. Uh, I hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, today we're celebrating Mother's Day in my house. Why? Because, hey, I'm going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom and streaming it for you guys ne next Mother's Day. So, uh Kind of a weird weekend for them to drop the game on, right? It's Mother's Day weekend. But hey, my entire family agreed to move it for me. That is crazy. I've never gotten my entire family to agree on anything for me. And yet here they go. Oh, you're working. Oh, you're going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom on live stream. Yeah, we can move it. Thanks, guys. It only comes out once every six years, apparently. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you in the next video.